Good afternoon, everyone. It is an honor to be receiving the title Scholar of the Year. It has been an incredibly difficult year, but I'm confident that my generation and the students at the College Bound Support will be able to contribute to a better Baltimore country and world. My name is Shantika Bad, and I'm a first-generation Indian American and a proud Poly graduate. When I was five years old, my brother was diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. From that moment on, I knew that my childhood carefree days would be over. Having a sibling with a disability was hard and often not talked about. For years, I had to learn through therapy at Kennedy Krieger how to be a supportive sibling. I learned that my brother faced a hostile and strange world around him and that I was one of the only few people he trusted to be a mediator to life. Caretaking sort of just became my thing when my grandfather came to visit us from India. Without extended family members in America, I was super excited for my grandfather to come to visit us. However, he'd been diagnosed with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and diabetes. It then became my job at 14 to assist him in the bathroom, help feed him mushy foods, and help him swallow his many, many medications. Between the challenges of my brother and grandfather, I began to realize how valuable it is to be healthy. The exposure to my family's health issues ignited a curiosity in me for the science field. So for high school, I really wanted to attend Poly and especially the Ingenuity program within Poly. The support and the opportunities that I received at Poly and Ingenuity have been absolutely incredible. One of my proudest moments was when I was the only freshman to present at the Ingenuity Idea Summit and presented on the topic, Is Nutrition a Cure for Modern Illness? I shared my family's health journey through diet in hopes that people could learn from it. It was also the first time that I truly stepped out of my comfort zone and tried something new. That's when I decided to explore my other interests by joining various extracurricular activities. My favorite club at Poly has to be the Ethics Book Club, where we critically analyzed real-life ethical dilemmas. Through this club, it made me more open-minded and allowed me to see many sides of the situation. My teammates then truly became my best friends and family at that point. We were thrilled to win first place in the region at the Maryland National High School Ethics Bowl. I explored other programs too, like Merit Health Leadership Academy, CHARM, Summer Academic Research Experience, or also known as SARE. What I learned most from these experiences, besides professional skills, is that the connections that you make with people are so valuable. When the pandemic hit, it struck a blow to my physical and mental health. I lost my grandfather, whom I cared for, as well as my grandfather in India. One thing I learned from quarantine is no matter how hard times get and how isolated you are, there are people that will always care for you, like the people that I met at all of these extracurricular activities. In addition, quarantine caused me to be more empathetic. Before pandemic, Life was super fast paced and I was focused on my individual goals. During the quarantine, I learned to check in with others and understand their situations. It brought a type of togetherness that really wasn't talked about so much before. For example, I got to lead Charm's journalism team this year and I really had to be mindful of what my members were going through behind Zoom screens. This helped me to really stay connected to my members and overall become a better leader. Thanks to Poly, Ingenuity, Merit, and the College Bound Foundation, applying to college wasn't as bad. I'm lucky to say that I have a full ride to John Hopkins University through the Baltimore Scholars Program. I plan on majoring in either neuroscience or cognitive science so that I can learn more about neurological diseases and contribute to improving the health of people like my grandfather and brother. As Mahatma Gandhi once said, strength doesn't come from winning, your struggles develop your strengths. When you go through hardships and decide not to surrender, that is strength. To everyone listening today, I wanted to let you know that your circumstances don't define you and that you're a valuable and important person. This pandemic really taught us not to take anything for granted, so make sure you thank the people around you who supported you through these tough times. I would like to thank the people that made me realize that, especially the people at Poly. Thank you to my College Brown advisors, Mr. Harold, Ms. Green, my Ingenuity Advisor, Ms. Ortiz, my Poly Counselor, Ms. Sellers. I would also like to thank my Merrick family, my friends, and my family at home. I can't wait to begin my next journey at John Hopkins University and see where it takes me. Thank you.